All right, guys, welcome back to Technique Critiques from Big Ben Strength. I'm Brian. This is TJ. We're taking a look at today. Uh, TJ's uh, Team USA weightlifter, hopefully by the time this comes out, junior national champion. Uh, we're going to be looking at a 160 kilo, 352, three pound hang clean today. Uh, if you saw the other video that I recorded on his, um, oh nope, that's different. Never mind, scratch that. All right, so get the bar up to the hips. Um, big deep breath. Get tight in the core. Get tight in the back. Make sure elbows are in the right direction, which is rotating out. We're gonna initiate the lift by pushing the hips back. He's going to go just below the knee. He's going low, 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 low hang. So as he travels back up, we still need to see the knees get out of the way of the bar. So he can stretch those hamstrings and utilize that. And then get those knees back under the bar, but keep the heels down. He does probably shift his weight a little too far onto the ball of his foot there. And there's a little bit of an excessive lean back at the top of his pull. I'd like to see a little bit more vertical. Foot stomp, whole foot, pretty solid. Now, here's where this lift breaks down a little bit. You can see here, if you look real close you can see that bar has separated from his shoulders but at this point he needs to have received that bar on his shoulders already and that's going to make the lift feel a lot heavier because he's going to feel a little bar crash there and when 350 pounds hits you on your chest it uh tends to knock the wind out of you and kill any momentum that you had all right so because of that he kind of crashes down at the bottom he's got to reset his elbows but Kid's got a strong squat, so he's able to just grind it on up out of there. And that's it, right? So, um, again, main things here we're looking at. Knees need to come, knees, I mean, sorry, for normal people, knees need to come out of the way of the bar. He did a pretty good job of that. Knees get back under the bar for the scoop, but make sure that as you're scooping, you keep those heels down. He does a good job of keeping his heels down, but he does push some of the pressure onto his toes of the ball of the foot a little too much. And then main thing here is we don't want to lean back as much as he's doing here. Lean back a little bit is good. This much is excessive. And that puts your center mass behind the barbell a lot more than you want it to be, which can cause a lot of jumping back and then meet the bar as high as possible right here. It's a little too much bar crash, and that's why he gets pushed down into that squat and has to reset his squat before he can stand it up. Ideally, you wanna meet that bar as high as possible and ride through the squat, ride that bounce, as opposed to having to dead stop front squat that after being, after having 350 pounds dropped on top of you. So those are the main pointers for TJ for today.